Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Babyhead and this is our City Skylines British themed city. Now, since last episode, I've taken a bank holiday break and it's great to be back because I appreciate what I've actually done to this actual area. I've uh, spruced the area up since last uh, recording. I've added uh, some streets. We've put basically populated the area so it doesn't look so bare. I've uh, added the network extensions to mod um, for the bus lane, which actually does work because in real life, the this this area here generally just serves as a bus lane. It it works for the track um, and basically people do go in there every now and then and this is what it does if it, you know in city skylines it does exactly that the cars only go in there to go here and basically emergency services and everything they can use all that anyway because it's it's no it's no shortcut because this is the one thing i do like about this what i've built here this it you you know if you start off here you're not going to get you know here any quicker than going round or going straight so which is really good also, I've added a hotel. I've uh, populated the area a bit, placed a car, you know, a few car parks, uh, some trees. You know, made it look a bit nice. I've also uh, put the rail line in, even though it does look a bit steep. But I've actually um, raised up my original trench, which is uh, great because that's what we're going to work on today. We're going to work on uh, raising the um, the old uh, rail line and basically flatten it all out and everything like that i don't think we're gonna possibly we might be able to sort this area out but um eventually we will get you know a lot more better i've also raised the platform uh, our land around here um so we can add more things over this side so it doesn't have this dual like road going like literally like in a circle going all the way around so it doesn't stick out as much um, I've also added uh, like a motorway, a British themed like motorway off ramp. Um, I don't know where this is going to end up. I think I'm just going to just put it down here somewhere and then just like pretend there's something there. I don't know at the moment. Um, but in today's episode, we're going to concentrate on basically connecting our public transport. Now, this area, our little Gorton area, has got a bus station, but I don't think it's got any lines going to it but also we want to hook up the train station which we got up here with uh possibly the train station there and then obviously all the way over to this one over here now eventually i probably will have um and I, I can't find the outside line connection straight away i think it's up in the corner over there but what we're going to do is we're just going to keep it um basically city centered wide so people can move back and forth because one thing i have started to notice now we've got to the stage where it now starts to creep on you where the traffic is actually building where where you when you build loads and loads of roads and you haven't got much of a population you don't really notice it but eventually you will start it'll start creeping in and as you can see as i've pressed pause we have a few little problems you know dotted around i had to sort out this roundabout to be more realistic excuse me um and basically what happens is now is that if there's something on the roundabout they wait and they basically wait for a gap and then they go for it just like in real life that you you know you don't not everyone piles onto the onto the roundabout so um that is what that is i kind of like how that is it especially handy with this um with this mod i think it's the president mod or something like that um and it changes a lot of things also i've added a aldi and i've uh basically cemented this area in so it's all filled up and everything like that but besides that there's not much going on um i've all i've done basically was i've populated the area um i've added a few little tiny details like this high school i want to flatten certain things but i thought mm, let's add an you know a high school there i've added some football posts so you can have a little kick around and then you've got like a high school like football training area type thing attached to the high school so it's all different little tiny details that in my mind i kind of like also i've uh, filled out this area here put like a path going around this area 
There's also somewhere is a nether path. Here we go. Uh, down this end. Because on the map there is a path that's literally running along um, this windy... Well, you, basically the houses are all built around this one path. And you can get from one area to the other with by this path. But anyway, <clears throat> let's get on with the, uh, the actual theme for today. So our actual theme for today is going to be basically we're going to sort out the public transport. And the way we're going to do that is probably rip up this line here. So what we're going to do is get the bulldozer tool while we've still paused. And we're going to get rid of these. So let's keep on going. Keep on going. And we're going to stop there because I so I know not to build like so I don't go like stupidly across. So we want that gone as well. But also what we want to do now is lower the uh, where are we? Low I take a few days break and I forget everything. Um, we want to lower the uh, the actual floor. So we've got uh, some space. So let's so that's now actually working just the way I want it. So we make it a bit bigger and then drive it along. So and then there's that there like so. It doesn't matter how far we go because it'll all be filled back in. So what we do is we make some room for us and then we'll um, fill it all back in afterwards. So what we're going to do is increase the brush size and basically just drag it along until we get to where that is at the moment. Obviously we're not hooking that up straight up because of um, we're going to probably get rid of it. So we're going to do train, rail and I like to do the free form for the train. Um, I don't know why, but some people don't seem to agree with like the free form tool. Sometimes it cocks up, sometimes it, it's too sharp and, and, and stuff like that. People are complaining because of rail line. I'm awfully sorry, but it was already there before you actually moved in. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, also, then we're going to have to do, where are we? Uh, this one. So we go, oh, actually, no, we need to delete the rail line first. Also, we need to go underground. So we get rid of uh, underground. So we get rid of that, that. And I'm assuming that is to do with that one there. Yep. So we get rid of that. Get rid of that. So, we, so we're pushing things back. So we take that tool again and right click and we keep on going so eventually as you can see that we come across a road so I'm not that particularly bothered about it obviously we're gonna struggle getting up here so I might like do a tunnel and then gradually bring it down maybe I don't know well we'll see how the tools tools act you know that's the best thing yeah that's the best thing for it I guess um, also, it might help if we get rid of that one and then just gradually maybe, you know, just see how if this can actually connect gradually. So if we go there, which is a lot better, you know, it's a lot smoother. It's, it's, it's still a bit steep, but it's, it's actually blended in with the uh, terrain and it actually if you look at a satellite photo um, of the actual area that I've so, sort of mimicked that it the, the terrain is all like uneven and a bit flat and a bit deep and it was it's all it's it's all over the um, it's all over the shop so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this to go right this is the complicated bit I always mess this up now I know you can do one way one one way and the other that way so they can go in and out as they please so it should it should fingers crossed be okay uh, what else do we need to do we got this line so we need to connect this line up um, and hopefully 
we will then move the train line across but somehow we're going to have to have this big gigantic drop so i don't know whether to gradually um <clears throat> fill this area in so just as, as like how the road is just slowly going up and i'm wondering whether that will work better with the actual terrain itself so we're going to actually extend the um we get rid of that road like that and then grab the uh, railway tool so we got that see now there's like the big massive like drop so you know I mean and it's like I don't want it being on like a like a straight right you know straight down slope so what we're gonna have to do is uh, gradually I'd say let's have a look so if you go uh, flatten the surface up first so we want to take it from there so if we take this all back like so and then we grab the r railway and then we drop it down say say one for now and then drop it down one two and then drop it down say one two three slope too steep and then drop it down uh, where are we so if we, we're trying to connect this up with that so hopefully this is gonna work uh, that no so somehow hang on let's let's find out where we are so we go one two three right so we want to go from there to there effectively but it says slopes too steep so obviously we're gonna have to get rid of this so the train's just gonna get diverted and say, say goodbye um so slope too steep still so we go one two three no okay so we're gonna have to try maybe maybe raise it slope too steep slope too steep I think it could be the fact is that hmm interesting see because we've got slope too steep so maybe if we go uh, back to the underground bit let's push this back a bit more and maybe that will work better so we got one, two, three, four, five. So that's that there. And the slope is still too steep. So you see, because you can see, you can see it coming out of the um, the thing, but not. Uh, see, you can see it coming out, but you can't. Hmm. It's interesting um, maybe let's see uh, the level tool so we've got a bit more to play around with bye bye train you about to get buried uh, let's let's play around with this a bit more and see what we come up with uh, let's see so we got the train can we go back down again? How do we go back down? So we go. No, that's like on top. I don't want that on top. Um, how can we do this? Maybe. Hmm. Let me try and. It might. We might have to get a bit radical with this. I think we're gonna. Might. We might have to. Um. It's gonna be like really unrealistic. Let's just let's just get like um like where where, where are we? Let's straighten this up a bit. No, straight. Can you go straight? Any chance? Yes, you can. Right. So that's a bit. Hmm. There's a tunnel goes up, and then this bit definitely I'll have to get rid of, without a shadow of doubt. Um, 
but at least we've got the the platform in where our tunnel comes out so we need to get rid of this uh, push all this back and then we take this tool uh, I want to drop it down mm, yeah drop it down so we grab the free form because I kind of like free form and then see if you can snap on to that like so so there we have it right obviously somehow I forgot to take off prop anarchy yet again so what I might do is actually go trees and that area and then just right click it to get rid of the trees that were on the railway line so what we're gonna do now <coughs> if my voice lets me, is that train is just like dead. There we go, despawned. Um, uh, we're gonna take the, uh, what's it called? The terrain tool and then possibly, um, I'd say from here. So if we get the smaller size and take that and then we just like fill this in a bit. So it's a bit, you know, less conspicuous and then we grab the soften tool and make this a bit softer there we go like so and we have a really spontaneous like railway um, I'm probably no doubt gonna regret actually doing it this way but for, for the time being it looks all right if that makes any sense it's it serves its purpose because on the map the the railway around this area is actually lower than the actual road itself so which is kind of a a pain in the bum so what we're going to do is now we're going to take the size of this and i am going to basically fill all this in just like the others and hopefully the railway then will behave itself and it'll look all nice and neat so this will go in here like so which looks all right and that actually doesn't look that bad actually i do have to omit uh, like that so the railway runs along there um we could possibly do it like that but i might just keep it like that for now so i could just keep an eye on it uh link up the road again uh where are we there we go so we go there no okay so you're not behaving and like so this is what i was on about you see where it's clipped through so what i do on that front is push that back grab that no I need to push it back again grab that make it straight and then push it across uh, like so see where it's not so obvious now it's it's there but it's not so obvious so then now what we got to do is hook up that road which in a reasonable fashion I guess uh, obviously I'll be doing a lot of work you know behind the scenes we'll be doing a lot of uh, you know, off-camera work so we do like that and like that um so that's now linked up with that one over there and then we got uh all this is done except for the out but i'm assuming this will be the only one in for now so what we're going to do now is hook them the train lines up so we grab our transport and train, right? Now, if I shift click the um, the, the platform, so yeah, see, if, so it does the second platform. So I go from there to all the way round to this one, and excuse me, there, and then back to there 
and now we've got our line. Now we can depart from... I haven't named the train stations. Damn it! I don't know which one's which. Uh, <laughs> we can depart from this, this here. So basically what happens is now they'll now start adding trains on and as you can see it's now added train so you can see that we've added a little train well it's not a little it's actually kind of quite big but I'm just wondering yep there it goes so it basically goes on to the other track which is hmm I suppose but then you've also got the trains going that way as well there's a lot of trains coming over there actually uh, I put it on also budget because obviously you know supply demand until obviously we think hmm it's costing us an arm and a leg you know maybe not sort of situation but what we're going to do now is we're going to look at getting the um i th the i think we need to look at possibly uh probably putting a train station down here at one point because obviously this this all this area doesn't have a train station so you've got basically all the farming area the woodland you know the wood farming area uh the small town of canton well it's not small it's actually quite big i think it's eight thousand three hundred and something and compared to seven thousand so that's actually uh, you know for population wise that's actually bigger than this area here but you wouldn't have actually think about it so there's our trains going in and out which is great hopefully yeah I don't know yeah so that train will have to wait there Ooh. <laughs> I think we we think we met our first little problem here I think I think the trains are just slightly too big I'll have to probably download um, a, a mod just to tidy up like I wouldn't mind that train there that's only like a three but whereas that one is like a lot bigger um, it seems to be all working fine at the moment with the trains it's just like going along which is great uh, our money is still our profit margin is qu dropped quite a lot I had to remove rush hour I, I, I installed rush hour and then I in uninstalled rush hour because it was causing some like micro stutters and the some of the schools was showing that they were in school at three o'clock in the morning now according to rush hour that it's supposed to be more realistic and put more better times and stuff like that but i found that it caused me more problems my net you know my basically my road network was it was just weird i don't i can't like i like i said on the forum i i couldn't explain really what it was actually doing because i don't know um it was causing jams where it shouldn't be causing jams trucks were going somewhere where they shouldn't be going and and stuff like that but anyway you, as you can see the train just going through um it's semi-realistic because obviously um this like l bend but eventually this l bend this l bend shall i say won't exist um we'll probably end up building something in like this area here so possibly like a stadium i might actually put the stadium in this corner out the way um basically we'll have a big um like railway station and um, we'll have some trams and stuff like that um especially around where i live not far what's called um uh the uh the etidad stadium in manchester um that it's got like a tram station right next right next to it so i'm thinking of possibly mimicking that in in some sort of respect so i might look at google and just see um how i can actually plan out that actual road network but as far as the transport um, is concerned that um, we are actually doing not too bad as far as where the buses go they I don't think there's any buses up in this area at the moment so everyone is basically relying on um, rail at the moment so as you see our profit margin has dropped yet again so what we're going to do is that we're going to possibly um, start adding uh, a bus network so if we press pause grab a line and let's just say where is the bus shelter where's the bus shelter there right so if we create uh, a line there 
and we're gonna have you go to say uh boom 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 let's just see where you want to go so if we have you go there like that and then you can come around here so we have another stop there and then you can go on your merry little way around everywhere so we go around here and we go i don't really particularly want it next to a junction um because it will stop it so if we go one there and then we go inside our little area and uh, dum dum and then we go there we go uh, i don't think there is a way yeah there is okay so we go here and we'll oh oh it's getting confused we'll stop there and then we'll come out here no come out here like that and then where are we going to go from here so possibly i'd say push up the top uh, around there around there uh, yeah we could possibly bring it around here because then we can look link this up at the same time so we're gonna do that and say yeah and so the exits there so we want that one there then we want this road so boop, 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 say here and then hook up to finish the line right we're going to call this gorton zero zero one right don't forget to press enter and we're going to make this line color hmm let's say green there we go make that line color green and we're done so we're gonna unpause it and the buses are all coming in so they're all different buses maybe i should look into possibly um short not shortening but make the buses have only one but if that's the case i'm gonna have to take off budget control now sometimes i prefer to have budget control because it works according one to how much money you've got and two how many people there are if there's loads of people um servicing on that bus stop um or bus line they will actually put more buses on which is great because it means that more people are getting on the bus which means less cars on the road which in turn means less headaches for me later down the road um, I me personally I advise that start doing your bus network and your rail network round about 10,000 people now the reason behind that is that um, when you've got a small population you don't tend to notice that much um, the traffic wise but eventually you'll start noticing a bit of traffic jam and you'll start noticing people will start using the buses a lot more uh, and trains because for some strange reason in sim city they are oh, sim city sorry in city skylines that they prefer to actually get on public transport and they just basically don't mind it at all that speed of that bus though um so basically you've got a bus going around Tesco's and then servicing this area here and over here and basically yeah it's gone through mm, no it just it hasn't gone through this area here so what we're going to do now is we're going to now serve, have a bus just to service this area and this area so what we're going to do now is grab the bus and again we're going to do next door to that and this is going to come all the way over here um how are we going to do this let's see we could do uh let's see um say add stop there so it goes all the way around so we've got the high school so we we'll drop people off at the high school can we can we do that like a funny yeah and then we're going to come around to let's say uh 
here. And then that's going to go across to there. And there. There. And then we're going to use our little um, lay-by. And then that's obviously going to have to go that way around. Yep, I can still turn this way. Uh, wait, where should we go with this one? Should it go to Tesco's, do you reckon? Um, do you reckon it should go to Tesco's? So, you know, I, I wouldn't mind a bus stop, say, there. But one thing I don't want them to do is start using the actual crossing. So they use... Uh, let's just see, yeah. So if we use bus stop there, then we go to... Aldi's and then come round yeah this is great and then we come round and then connect with the actual line so this one's now going to be called Gorton 2 uh, 002 enter and then we're going to yep uh, we're going to make that like I don't know so we got Gorton looks like it's going to be a green type line um, so that so that's that bus network getting up up and running. So eventually now we'll have start having a lot of greeny looking buses. But anyway, folks, I think I've rabbled on for a while now, and uh, I think we're running out of time. Uh, yes, we are. I don't want to make this episode too long, but what, what I'll do now tomorrow, I'll make this a part two where we'll let. A, you know, get Canton and we'll get Gorton and we get all, all the industrials all working together with everything like that. Obviously, I'll touch up a few bits and pieces as I've always done off camera and I'll always let you know what I've actually, you know, uh, messed around with, what I've actually built, everything like that. But anyway, folks, thanks for putting up with me. Thanks for watching. If you've liked my video, please give it a big thumbs up. It's much, much, much appreciated. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Ta-ra for now.